Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the vault ages high, would show up here, about to give you another YouTube video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new game that I picked up on Steam for 10 bucks, which is on sale called River City Ransom Underground. Now, I never knew that a game like this existed. I used to play the old school River City Ransom back on the NES. I also played River City Ransom Tokyo Rumble. I have not picked up the new one on 3DS yet, but I'm sure I'll be checking it out pretty soon. Now, some of the aspects I want to talk about the game is that it actually has four player support. So you can actually join a lobby game, which is kind of like a public game. You can join a LAN game, which basically means people on your local network if they're using their own computer. For example, if I go to Savage Wolf's house and I want to join a LAN game and not a friend game, you can also host your own public game. You can host a LAN game. I don't know why rename Arena Player. And also host friends only game. So when you host a friends only game, you have to be friends with them on Steam. So it's kind of like a private game in a way. You have to be friends with them, obviously, for that to work. But it's really cool that you can play with four people. So if you go into the game, I have put a couple hours into the game. And we're going to pick the save file that I have. Now, there's a couple difficulties within the game. You can also choose story mode. You can choose hard. New Game Plus opens up after you beat the game, which makes all the enemies harder. And then you have Fun Gondo, which makes the enemies also stronger, as well as more difficult. So it says this will break you. I'll have to try and do a full playthrough on Fun Gondo eventually. So we're just going to pick Story Difficulty. Now you can also have Friendly Fire being on and off. On, obviously, is super hard. And this is tailored to the original River City Ransom that had Type A and Type B. Type A, you couldn't damage people from Friendly Fire, and Type B, you could. And it really makes the game really challenging when you have four people on screen. With two, you could get away with Friendly Fire. Friendly Fire obviously was fun for having those little friendly duels within the game. And there's a bunch of characters. I obviously don't have that many unlocked yet. But we have Paul, we have Pruvy, Rudy, Ryan, Alex, Bruno, Glenn, Mike... And yeah, there's like 40-something characters you can get all together. Again, I've only played this game for about two, maybe three hours. And I do have a live stream up with this on Twitch and Hollywood Show on a YouTube live stream if you enjoy something like that. So right away, we're going to start with probably my best character, Glenn. Now, I didn't know you could actually rename, so we're actually going to try it. It looks like it's akin to the original. So we're going to rename him Shona, just because he is my best person. Helps if I know how to spell. And yeah, it's just like River City Ransom, you could rename them to six people. And their name's Sticks, so this could be really good. And you could even reset it back to their original name. Oh, you can actually reset their stats. Oh, crap. Whoops. I don't think we wanted that. Well, I guess we just reset his stats. So I guess that's kind of cool. Like, if you want to play a brand new game with somebody, you can just reset their stats. So, yeah, I just kind of screwed myself and made my guy level 1 again. I do still have my special ability, which is good. So, one of the things that I learned about this game is the fact that enemies are really fun to go up against. And it is in 60 FPS, as you guys can see. What I like about this character here is he's got a really good special move, and I learned this trying to get out of the school, that he's got one of the best special moves. I've tried using the other guys... Like the guy that has the punch and didn't find it to be good. The spin kick is really good at controlling. It hits multiple people at a time. And it really punishes people really good. Now some of the other aspects that I like is that each character has various grapples and throws and other things. And that's what makes the character really interesting. There's other moves that you can do when you're jumping as well. Which make it a lot of fun. You can also pick up weapons and use them. You can also break open parking meters to get a little bit more money. You can still double tap and run. And you can learn skills just like in the original, which is pretty cool. So right here we're in Sticksville, and we're just going to bash this guy in the head with a club. Now, each stat is tailored based on your skills. For example, we're level 2, so our max stats went up by 1. This obviously increases higher the more levels and XP you have, and you have to consume food in order to actually improve your max stats. But... It's just like the original River City Ransom. I imagine with four people, it gets really chaotic and fun super quick. And you can also tag people. You can watch each other's back a little bit easier, especially in big rooms. 
And this is where I come to YouTube because I actually want to experience this with some of you guys. The game is 10 bucks on Steam, very affordable. And there is easily probably 30 to 40 hours of gameplay with this and probably even more if you're focusing on more than one person at a time. Now, obviously, not everything is available at the beginning. You have to actually complete certain things in order to get it. But we have enough money to buy food. So I think as soon as we hit level 3, I'm going to show you guys what food actually does. If we haven't already hit level 3. We're going to bash this guy over the head with a baseball bat. We're going to throw the bat at him. We're going to start using our special move again. And yeah, as you get your abilities up, um, there's a couple of things. The first bar, which you guys see, is the health bar that's in green. There's a bar that's kind of invisible, which you guys can't see. That is your willpower. It's basically your second life. So if you get knocked down to zero health, it's basically your reserve health meter. Now, as you level up, your stats are going to increase on every level. I think I got my max stamina up, and there's a level up. So let's go to town. Let's try to avoid taking any damage. We're at $7.20. Let's go hit the parking meter for a few cents as well. So we're at $7.30. So we're going to buy a uh, enemy. Just because that's one of the better foods. And one thing that I really like too is that you can even take some food with you. So if you'd rather just recharge on the go and not eat the food right away, you can do that. You eat the food by hitting the LT button, which is the back left button. And then it'll tell you they eat the food, you gain some stats, which is pretty badass. So it tells me I also need a glass of water. We obviously have our water right here, which is Coke. So max special power increased. Stamina is maxed out. And max stamina went up by two. You also get max energy, which improved by two. Also attack increased by one and throwing increased by one. Defense also goes up by one. So basically the way the stats work is your attack kind of influences your special damage. Weapons are pretty self-explanatory. Throwing, you do more damage with throws. Agility, you can move around quicker. Defense reduces the amount of damage you take. The strength actually increases the damage that your strikes do. And willpower is basically your health reserves. Your stamina is basically how much your maximum health is. The energy is what you're using for your special moves, and the special is what you're using for blocking. So, for example, let's block a little bit and try to show that off. Let's get our blocking meter down. So you can see that, well, it's showing our special 16 to 16, so it must be our energy that's our actual blocking. Yeah, I got that backwards. So it's a special that influences this, which you can see right there. So it takes like five to actually kick. And that recharges over time. So you can see we have three special. Our energy is for blocking. And yeah, it's really cool. And I imagine that with four people, the game is a lot of fun. And I can't wait to show this off again. Now, when we go back into the warehouse, we can even choose another person. So let's say we want to take Paul, the boxer. He's also got some moves. So we only reset the one character, which kind of sucks. So you can see that there is a little bit in the red. We actually punched a girl. That sucks. So now we can uppercut. We can even do a hard punch. And he's got those Balrog-like punches where you can punch from range. And he's got some really damaging jump attacks, too. Especially his jump punch. So certain people are better, obviously, with certain moves. And the flexibility is just awesome. So you can just do a roundhouse punch. And yeah, the, co the combinations are definitely endless, and especially when you have 40 plus people, you can have people that specialize in certain areas. Like, you can have somebody specialized in grappling. Like, let's go for Alex the Brawler. And he's got a whole new look. So, Alex the Brawler comes in. Somebody comes right in cleaning up. So, you can also throw him like before, does more damage with a jump attack. He's going to throw him, and you can even run around and do some random stuff. You just beat him over the head after grabbing him. Heavy attack there. So he's going to continue to lob. You're going to throw him. 
yeah, some of the stuff that these guys can do is pretty cool. They even got jump attacks. They got dash attacks where you can just, like, jump in and kick them. So, yeah, the things that these guys can do is just amazing. And I reckon that as you gain more skills, you can do even more stuff. Like, we're just kneeing them in the face. Kind of like UFC. We're gonna knock him down. We're gonna beat him down. We're gonna throw him. Just bash him over the head and he's down. And certain guys you can even hit when they're down too. We're gonna pick up this rock and not miss it like an idiot. So Nightfall, there are certain events that take place at night. So my guy is down. He's gonna try to stop on my dick. We're gonna throw that rock and hit ourselves. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna backhand him. Now he's not dead yet. We're gonna throw this rock and... Now he's eliminated. And you can also climb in the trash can to get your notoriety down. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto where the cops will actually come after you. You can go in hideouts to actually avoid that as well. But yeah, this is obviously one of the main areas that you can build up your guys. And there's even honors like achievements and stuff too. So you can even show off more stuff. And there's all kinds of stuff. Interrupt all bosses in the flashback sequence. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in the game. Earn one ribbon, earn ribbon finder, chunky monkey barf. And yeah, it doesn't tell you what you actually need to do for this, but pretty cool. So we're going to save the game as much as I don't want to lose the reset. But if you guys enjoy River City Ransom, you can, for example, join a lobby game. Fluffiest pancake right there, and yeah, we just joined up. So yeah, actually in a public game, it looks open world. No, it doesn't, actually. So it shows where people are on screen. I don't know if you can actually leave screens, or if everybody has to do it. But this is another area within the game. Yeah, it looks like somebody died or left. Another person just died. So yeah, they must be on like a really hard game mode. So yeah, let's see if we can actually leave the area. Doesn't look like we are. It just put us kind of back in here. So yeah, you can't actually leave the area. Unless somebody else is. So that part kind of sucks, but you kind of get an idea of what four-player gameplay is going to be like. Let's just slap the hell out of her just because we can. Yeah, it does look like both people have to be in a different part of the map. We're not actually dead yet. So yeah, it looks like the zone, both people have to be out of the map. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, if you like this video showing off some River City Ransom Underground gameplay, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favor, check out my other... Hollywood Shono gaming videos, playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. If anybody wants to pick up the game, let me know on Twitter and we'll set up a match. Obviously, you'll have to add me on Steam, which is B Shorlock. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!